what's going on y'all thank you so much for tuning in i'm getting ready to bring you a light workers message okay so light workers don't forget flip the rolls take only what you need leave the rest and please use the spirit of discernment ask you not to force anything to fit i don't know if you're masculine or feminine i just know the energies and i'm going to speak the story how i see it if it doesn't resonate or you may feel if you feel confused by something, the message is not for you. OK, so don't forget it's collective and um, you got to take only what you need. All right. So let me set my intentions before I get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides for helping me with this collective light workers read. Protect us as we go through these portals. Ask that you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger. Ask that you cover me, protect me, protect my throat chakra, my energy. Thank you for blocking my page from any karmic energies as well. If anyone is here that is not willing to evolve or grow, I ask spirit that you speak to their hearts, soften their hearts to you. Thank you so much for using me as the messenger. Thank you for my true guides being here today. And so it is. All right, y'all. So let's see what's going on here with my fellow light workers. Initiation by air. Okay, so let me read that. I feel like that's been kind of like the same card that has been coming out for a minute, though. Let's see. Mm -hmm, it's about your mind. Your mind can become more spacious and luminous if you practice emptying it on a regular basis. The radiant mind can be a mighty warrior against fear and despair, encouraging you with thoughts of optimism. When not given a chance to empty, however, the mind becomes overwhelmed with unprocessed information. Much of it will be fear-based programming perpetuated by mass media, which is invested in controlling others and manipulating them by fear. This initiation, which liberates and opens the mind, empowers advanced souls to free themselves from manipulation and control. The hallmark of a, of a dysfunctional society is that the mind is expected to dominate the inclinations of the heart rather than serve it. The mind can be trained to be a great manager, creator, and defender of what has genuine value to the heart, but the power to feel what has meaning for us, what moves us enough to rise above our fears and risk growth, comes from the heart, not the mind. When the mind is given a task to feel and the heart is told to not feel, perilous confusion and discomfort are experienced. As you enter into this initiation, you will feel the need to step back from what you have been taught and learn to question what you once held to be true. As you disengage from habitual mental patterns, you will begin to observe your thoughts rather than be swept up in them. Soon you will begin to experience yourself as the peaceful, steady light of love that you are in truth. Will the mind go through its motions? Yes. However, there is no need to be afraid of this. One step at a time, your spirit shall guide your mind back towards peace. You will change the way you relate to your own mind, becoming more empowered. As you soften, soften the strident, action of the mind, you will see that you can use your mental gifts wisely rather than allowing them to cause you pain. Those who have strong mental energies can accomplish much in terms of communication, invention, and creativity, but they have often also suffered from destructive self-talk and mental obsessions. They may even be addicted to thinking, which can wear them out and create cravings for sugar that can lead to depression and illness. Instead, it is much better to regulate, regularly take time out from the mind and be in the moment, feeling energized, playful, and at peace. Your mind is a powerful creature. Tame it with persistence, compassion, kindness, and strength. Give yourself rest and the opportunity to switch off and empty your mind as regularly as you can. There is no need to judge or despair. This is an advanced initiation and one that is brought to you only when you are ready. Consider it a sign of your spiritual progress. The world will benefit from you as you learn to handle your mental energies more constructively. This oracle is indeed an omen of great peace and happiness in your imminent future. You have a strong and powerful mind. The mind can be a great asset. It can bring you comfort, peace, and strength as you take your spiritual journey. It can also be a dark and destructive force undermining your power, making you doubt your own heart and keeping you trapped in fear. The mind developed without a loving, 
spiritual practice can be a frightening weapon rather than a liberating sword. How would you choose to use your mind power, light worker? How are you choosing to use it? Do you want it to be a dark and destructive force or are you choosing to comfort, use it as comfort, peace, and strength? You have to work on reprogramming your thinking. And this is what it's about, right? Because it's a habitual mental pattern. Okay. It's how I'm seeing it. And of course, we all suffer from our ego, right? We all do. I've been there. I've done it. I was just there last week, two weeks ago. Okay. But it's all about being able to tame your thoughts. Your mind is a powerful creature, light worker. And because you are so powerful, you literally can bring into fruition the things that you least desire because you keep overthinking it, obsessing it, right? Over it. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about what's going on with light workers, my light workers in their mind. Yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Some of you may even have gone to the point of feeling, how can I say it? Yeah, it's like the Queen of Wands is someone who literally focuses on their goals and they manifest them. They keep themselves on a frequency that's high, right? Passionate, very vibrant energy here in order for them to be able to see their goals come into fruition. This person can be usually very generous, very lo loving, very confident and all. But when the Queen of Wands goes in the reverse, it usually leads to some type of, um. it's like, you end up lowering your frequency. It becomes demanding. Okay. It, it can become revengeful. It can become very angry, like that type of energy. And even with the King of Swords energy, it's the same thing. The King of Swords in a reverse could lack the structure. They could lack um, routine. They could be very just off. It's like they're not speaking their truth. They're not standing in their power, things like that. And it's how I'm seeing it. And what I feel like here for my collective, I don't feel like you are actually in that Queen of Wands reverse to a certain degree. What I'm hearing also is that this could be two different people that may have you all up in your head, in your mind right now. Okay. Um, it could be a karmic energy. Okay. It could be two people that are karmics in your life, or it could be your person and whoever they're dealing with. Um, but how I see it again, like we all get to that point where we lower our vibration and we become karmic energies. Literally over the last couple of weeks or so, a lot of the divine feminines have went into reverse um, re reverse positions. We came out of our empress energy. We forgot who we were and we lowered our vibration because of our situation. We allowed our hurt and our fear and our pain to overcome and overpower our decision making. And we wish kept us stuck in the timeline that was only resonating with hurt and pain, okay, and grief and sadness. And that energy is being mirrored back to your person, your counterpart. But whatever is happening here, it's like with these two uh, reverse energies coming out here, I do feel like, I do feel like you have a chance to really just have a whole brand new beginning for yourself, regardless of what these folk are doing over here, okay? You have the freedom to move forward and the universe is going to catch you, right? The universe is going to protect you. And that's what really the overall message is. I feel like because you may be fearing the unknown as well is what's causing you to have the poor judgment when it comes to this situation. And the only reason why I say poor judgment, because it's, it's hard for some of the collective to literally make a decision to move forward past this pain, to take a more positive route instead of staying stuck in the, um, the other frequency, let's just put it that way, right? The lower frequencies, okay? So show me what I need to see. Here. Shoot, it can even be, even if this ain't about nobody else, this literally could be you, light workers, for some of you, operating as this Queen of Wands reverse or as this King of Swords reverse, right? So hold on real quick, I gotta shut myself okay. down. So here with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands coming next to each other, this is what you're being guided to do. Tame your mind, right? You have the power to actually do it. You have the power to push yourself into calmer waters and to heal and to progress and keep moving forward here on your journey just by simply going after this new beginning and then speaking to yourself in a totally different manner, okay? Changing those thoughts into ones that are more positive, 
reversing those habits and those patterns that you have that have kept you in this um this unbalanced energy okay um and spirit is asking you to accept the challenge like you have the ability to actually do this you know the universe is always going to keep testing us because we're here to learn spiritual lessons and in order for us to learn these spiritual lessons we have to go through these cycles here so once you start to embrace and really see that hey this is the cycle that you're in right now this person that's in your life is playing that role of teaching you these spiritual lessons change how you perceive this stop allowing the hurt from the past to dictate your now because that's the past and it's stopping you from being able to have this new beginning that um is being gifted to you literally being handed to you it's like the universe is giving you the wand and saying hey you're the co-creator here find that passion you know you could be being distracted by too much of what's happening in your 3d What is the energy of my light workers? Thinking woman fell out, didn't see that. That's usually um, someone, a woman of understanding. And what I'm seeing is that, again, my feminines, right? Even if you're a man, you could be operating in this feminine energy, is having a difficult time with your own personal growth. You may be even feeling confused about this path feeling disconnected about this path. It's like you're disconnected from your true path here. Here with the sixth chakra in the card rever um, reverse position. This is about your personal vision. So remember how the energies are. Look, the journey card in the reverse. So you're off path. Remember, we, we got this full moon in Aries that's happening right now. Um, remember that you know, a lot of stuff that we have kept buried deep within is going to be surfacing. It has been surfacing since the retrogrades begun. And this stuff has to come out of us so that we can be cleared of this energy, right? So that we can get into a new timeline, a new cycle here in our life. One that doesn't keep repeating itself. So you got to get back on path. And what spirit is saying is that the way that it's going to happen is going to be through you taming your mind. You have control over your mind. It's you that decide to come out of this rut. Take some time to empty your brain on a regular basis. Let's read this invocation. I'm going to say it slow and then you just repeat after me. I call upon the unconditionally loving ones to help me empty and refresh my mind. Renewed and eternal love. May I express my freedom in making wise decisions that create joy and love in me and in the world. I ask for divine mercy, compassion, protection and instruction to assist me in bringing my mind into a loving consciousness. May the light of the divine shine unobstructed through my mind, bringing peace to the world. May the unconditionally loving helpers of humanity Help bring light, healing, and joy to the minds of all. Through my own free will, so be it. Okay, so begin to try to release here these uh, this, the thought pattern. That's what I just heard. Basically, straight what it is. It's like it's a negative thought pattern. Okay, um, in spirit of saying, is is one that you can no longer resonate with. It's the you're not seeing the shift take place in your story. Things aren't changing. It's because of your own stagnation. And it starts with how you are perceiving your situation, your past, things like that is how I'm hearing it. Hubris comes out.
You have been spinning a web of deceit and have become caught in the hubris that is your life. In truth, it has not been easy for you. And instead of shining your light brightly, you've hidden your gifts and abilities. The problem is the scale has tipped and there is no healthy balance. So now it seems hold on so now it seems that you may talk about the things that you don't deserve right you may be talking about it to everyone anyone who who will listen that could be for some of you but it remember it's important to remember to um balance yourself is how i'm saying it don't allow any excessive pride as well to um take over because it could lead you to a fall but however um it's not easy it's not. And what I see here is that there could be a lot of self-doubt and insecurity. And that's what's taking place. A lack of self-confidence. And it's, un it's time to untangle yourself from the sticky web. This is really about you facing your fears. Asking, are you coming from a place of ego or from the heart? You will receive the recognition you deserve. Just be the real you. Weave your life constructively. If you see a spider, a spider usually indicates choices that need to be made. Okay. But yeah, this is about you balancing out your mind. Okay. Let me see if I can bring in some messages here that will definitely maybe try to bring your energy up just a bit for this good old Sunday. Okay, it's nice outside too. Um, I don't know where you're located at, but if you could get outside into nature and just kind of just sit with nature for a moment, breathe in the air, let your feet or your hands touch the grass, trees, take a walk. Thank you. What message do you have for my light worker? Get into nature, basically. Some of you have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watching over you. That's with Yvonne. Sonia comes in. So this is someone's, this is really someone's um, angelic guide that is bringing you a message from a deceased loved one. This deceased loved one wants you to know that they are happy and they are at peace and they love you very much. And they're asking if you will stop worrying about them. <laughs> they're fine. As a matter of fact, they are one of your guides. Daniel comes out. And Daniel basically says, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Some of you are having a lot of trouble in the relationship department, especially if you're connected to a divine, you know, a divine counterpart. And what I'm seeing here is that the reason why you keep finding yourself in this repeat pattern is because of what happened to you in your childhood, what you've seen within the dynamics of a marriage of some sort, whether it's coming from a, parent, a mother or a father or whoever, whoever your parental figure was. Okay, and you're being helped with that, even when it comes to past lovers, all the pain and all the hurt that you have experienced here in your life. Daniel was here to help you to heal from that, to prepare you for what is inevitable for you to be able to have this happy outcome that you're looking for. OK, patience is required. So they're asking, be patient, because now is the time for you to learn. You're supposed to be studying and gathering the information. Remember, on this journey that we're on right now, we're in training so we have to learn the lessons. We have to study it. We have to be prepared because at the end of every chapter, we're going to get a test. Some of you are at the end of this chapter and you have to keep retaking the test because it's hard for you to get through it. But all Spirit is asking you is to choose a different way of doing it instead of choosing to be sad, to be hurt, to be angry, decide that you're going to be at peace. You're going to be healed. You're going to speak differently about the situation. You're going to change the way that you're thinking. Put your focus in on controlling self. That's what the full moon of Aries brings in. It brings us back to ourselves. 
so that we can begin to heal ourselves, that we put ourselves first. Because in the future, you're going to put all of this knowledge that you have gained into action. Some of us are still doing it while we are in training, right? We're still learning and still helping and light working at the same time. What should my collective focus on or what do they need to know, my light workers, when it comes to this full moon in Aries energy? Sun and Cancer, focus on your home and love, okay? I'm going to read that to you. What do they need to know when it comes to this 1010 portal? Ooh, good lord. And I have boost your self-worth and finances, practicalities, and boost your relationships through teamwork and compromise, collaboration. Okay, so you're going to be collaborating, it seems to be here, with your person. That's just how I'm seeing it. Look, the eclipse in Aries, the sun in Taurus, the sun in Cancer. Let me pull, um, let me open up the book real quick. So when it comes to this full moon in Aries, you want to focus on your family, your loved ones, your children. You know, this is a time to focus on your heart. Focus on those you love in your home, in your family, in your sense of connectedness to the bigger picture of what family looks like for you, your ancestries, your roots, and your children. A new development with family or property, such as a move or home um, or decorating a home is in the works, okay? So for some of you, even if it's just about what you're doing in your home, it's about you changing some things up to get that energy flowing is how I'm hearing it. Avoid being overly emotional in your responses at this time. Respond compassionately to events or you will find that life can be become can become challenging or even topsy turvy. So how you respond is vital is vital to this next phase or this phase that you're in right now. This is how you're going to get out of this particular cycle here. Trust that these new developments will be to your advantage. And at least they will teach you a fresh and deeper understanding of yourself and the people you love. Your emotions may be particularly heightened at this time, but this is an excellent time to look for ways to soothe and, and calm these strong emotions, such as fear, jealousy, resentment, a sense of loss or anxiety. Begin meditating, yoga and practicing mind, mindfulness. This is what's going to help you to stay calm during this time. At this time, you may also have a fresh project that involves writing or story, um, storytelling, okay? It is an excellent time to tap into your imagination and to create art, music, and poetry. This is also an excellent time to develop your intuition, to trust your instincts. The spiritually minded will enjoy dwell, um, dwelling more deeply into mysticism and an understanding of your greater purpose in life. But during this full moon in Aries, this is a good time to boost your understanding of your your light work, your dream work, or your shamanic abilities. A psychic intuitive development course, counseling course, or writing course will stimulate some ideas for you and help you to have a deeper understanding of life in yourself. So you wanna be focused on your own heart right now and focus on those you love in your home, in your family, okay? Your children, things like that. I already read that part, but you get it. So let me look up for this 10, 10 40 that portal that's coming. And I, I don't even know what the date is. It may, oh, it's the ninth. So it's tomorrow. Okay. So let me see. So you are a spiritual being experiencing life in, phys in a physical earthly domain, learning life lessons. Be led by your interests and above all, love with all your heart. This card can refer to a current connection, such as a soulmate, or you could be dealing with a twin flame where you're learning karmic lessons or someone that you feel drawn to. And it's significant, it's significant, I can't say the word. It just won't slide off my tongue, y'all. And I know it, it signifies the time is right for um, business or personal collaborations. 
this 1010 portal, I'm telling you, it's going to help you to feel more fulfilled. But you got to express your true self and find out more about what your purpose is in life. You may wish to follow the yellow brick road to complete a project you feel truly motivated by. Express your latent talents and learn new ways to get ahead. However, if you're feeling shy or unable to express yourself assertively, you may feel yeah, you may feel eclipsed by someone. It's important at this time to see the other person's viewpoint, but also be assertive. Don't just look at it from your perspective. See the other person's perspective as well. Avoid tempers and controlling behaviors. Assert yourself lovingly and allow new ventures and relationships to enter your sphere. And how I'm seeing it is it's like we're trying to control the narrative here when it comes to these connections. We're trying to control it because of fear, fear of being hurt, fear of being left behind, fear of not having our needs met. But what we're doing is, is we're fearing, which means we're taking away our faith in the divine, in a higher source. And then we're trying to hand the divine or the universe a script. This is how I want you to do it. It doesn't work that way. But this is a time, like I'm saying, even in the full moon in Aries and this 1010 portal that's coming through for you to go back and to finish healing your heart and healing your heart requires you to do tons of things. OK, it also requires not only practicing the self-care, it also requires you to actually face your fears. Relationships are the fast track to learning at this time. You hear it, right? This person is here to teach you spiritual lessons. This relationship is what is the catalyst to your spiritual awakening, to your journey here. This relationship is being used as a tool to teach you. So seek to understand yourself and the other people that are involved. If you feel your way is being blocked, okay, show compassion and understanding for those who are unable to understand you. Avoid being reactive. Be proactive instead. Seek a balanced outlook to what is your path in life and what is another's path in life. Your path may intersect, but need only continue together if the relationship is healthy and mutually supported. Changes in your relationship can be symptomatic of bigger picture turning points in your learning curve. So try to see these relationships in a broader perspective of your own personal development. Look at this relationship you have with this person as, again, a tool for your own personal development. Change how you are seeing this. It's an illusion. The universe is using this person to teach you. And you're absorbing it. This person is learning also from you. So when it, if you're dealing with a divine counterpart, most like light workers have um, have already found or connected with their counterpart. In reality, if your situation isn't changing, okay, there's a change that's not happening within your own self. So take a step back and just reassess, okay? Begin to express your true self, your true feelings. Don't run from yourself. Don't run from the, you, when you run from the connection, when you block these, um, this person, when you um, hold the resentment in your heart, when you hold the anger, okay, the past, is you really doing a disservice to yourself because this person is you so as you begin to change and heal then you're going to start to see this person will begin to change and heal and then you go in with this 10 10 portal being able to work together as a team okay you're not accepting bs no but remember what you do for you in turn this person will do for themselves and I'm not the only one that's been saying it. So if you look across the YouTube world collectively, all readers are coming up with majority. Okay. Ones that are there to teach and help you to evolve are speaking about the fact that divine feminine, it is you that is standing in the way of your new beginning. Okay. So let's look at practicalities boost your self-worth and your finances and then i'll close out
It's time to put great ideas into practice. And to do so, you must invest in yourself a little more. Believe in your own abilities and boost your self-esteem through positive self-talk. That's the direction you want to take. That's the path you want to go. A more positive path. Your projects succeed when you truly invest in them. Which this is about the journey. Which is a journey of self. When you truly invest in yourself, then you succeed. Then you see your your work or your labor pay off. Your achievements will mean so much more if you to you if they are a fulfillment of a dream. So while it's time to put your ideas into action, it's also important to choose your endeavors wisely. You want to plant fresh ideas in their most nurturing environments, which is also your brain, right? You got to nurture yourself, your temple. Ensure the peg fits the hole. And if it doesn't, avoid wasting your effort. Be gracious and accept when your ideas are simply not in sync with the prevailing trends. A hands-on approach to life will appeal. But get your feet on the ground and be more practical about your everyday life. An earthly and realistic attitude to life and adventures will help you succeed. Okay, some of you may be getting a new relationship coming in that may feel more sensual and passionate or even in this particular relationship with your divine counterpart. It comes once you begin to focus on your own heart and your own healing and releasing whatever the um, sadness or the grief or, or pain is that you are feeling from the past. Okay, so um, this is a time to enjoy. That's it. And earthly delights. 1010 wants you to be able to open up and enjoy, to be equal, to boost your relationships, to work well with each other. Even if at this moment, the way it's not happening the way that you are envisioning it, the way that you are wanting the divine to do it. The teamwork isn't all isn't about you being in a relationship with this person. Yes, you want them to treat you fairly, but the teamwork is about you guys being able to come to a compromise when it comes to your healing, right? Which is your own own shit. Excuse my French, I gotta say it like this. It's really about you, your own wholeness. You reconciling the differences within yourself. When you do that, then again, it's helping to reconcile the differences within the connection so that you guys can come to a, a healthy equilibrium, a healthy balance. The way that the connection work is going to be through teamwork. You have to be an equal balance. It has to be an equal give and take. You have to be a vibrational match to each other. So find a way to reconcile these differences. Again, like I said, sometimes it ain't going to be about you being in the relationship. Sometimes the start of the connection is going to start in a friendship. You got to be friends first. You have to be able to work with each other in a friendship before you can come together as, as a, a couple or a 3D relationships, how everyone is kind of envisioning it. Be... Avoid being distracted from your bigger picture, okay? And this is what's happening. Some are allowing the 3D, the illusions, to distract them of the bigger picture. The bigger picture is about you helping humanity, doing your light work, evolving spiritually, growing, okay? It's important you maintain a healthy relationship with spirit, with yourself. It's lucrative at this time. This card is also a money card. See money as a form of energy, not as a platform for power or as a means to gain self-esteem. Seek power internally in the shape of your own strength, your own wisdom and compassion. Fresh ideas incubated at this time will flourish as long as it is tended to and nourished. Make sure you are tending to your heart, your life in a positive way, in your mind. Okay? All right, my fellow light workers. I love you guys. I am praying for you all. And trust me, I understand. I had to go through the same lesson myself, right? A couple of weeks ago. Thank God I got it because I was struggling for a few seconds. But what I could not do in my own strength, I reached out and asked the divine and my angelic guides to help me the rest of the way. 
You don't have to do it alone. You have support. Okay, you have earthly helpers and you have spiritual helpers that will guide you through the end of this cycle. All right, so listen to your intuition. Peace out, y'all.